I've got the engine loosely bolted onto its stand, roughly assembled, just to see where the things are going to be going. I've put a couple of support brackets on the end and it's nice and rigid and solid. I've got an oil pump to mount and I've got an oil filter to mount and an oil filter housing to make and the pressure relief valve. But today I'm going to concentrate on the oil tank. Oil tank goes underneath here. That's the oil drain for the turbo. The tank's going to go in there. I've got some nice 3mm aluminium plate and the tank is going to be the size of the aluminium plate. So it's going to be that wide. It's going to be that high. It should hold roughly 3 litres, which is more than sufficient for this particular application. I'm going to cut them, I'm going to bend these two up, stand up, so up, then well the two sides in, then I still have enough metal left to put a top on. I'll do some marking out, some cutting and bending, and then we'll try and get some decent shots of aluminium TIG welding. This is nice clean aluminium, so it should weld up really nicely. It is coming together, it looks there's a lot to do, but it's there's not that much to do we need to get this thing run. I just stand here, I had to modify it, I had the thing along to the end and I just say to cut it, move the turbocharger across one way to get more room. That's the oil feed in. I've got lots of unions and bits of pipe to work out how to plumb the oil system up. But the first thing is going to be the oil tank. Try and keep all this nice and square, at least as square as possible. Just makes welding together easier. It should bend, there's no problem at all. If it wasn't hitting the bastard roof, it would. Not a worry. Right, we need a little bit more leverage on there. I'm sure this will do the job for us. Oh, come on, you bastard. <laughs> come on. It's fucking jammed now with a twatting thing. Come out with it. Right. Gone too far. Don't worry, bring it back easy enough. I'm gonna have to cut it to the length, it's just the wrong height for the roof. And that's, I'm happy with that. I think I'll put the other bend in and then cut it. I'm gonna mark on there. With Should be a lot more controllable now. I'm going to walk along with you past 90 there. Never mind. That's better, that one's alright. I cut this to height now and then bend that. Straighten that up a little bit. That's a nice, nice 90 there. We'll be able to sort that one out, no problem. Yeah, I could throw that lane. I 
I'm annoyed I've gone too far with that bend. Really annoyed. Not much I can do about it now, really. Definitely coming back. Just about there now. Aluminium is really tough stuff. Settle for that now. This is going to be the use for the sides, and that's going to be a piece for the top. Heads are pretty good. Just one squaring up a little bit that one. Yeah, that's good. I just want that taken down to that lane. The guillotine would be a useful bit of gear for doing this, but I'm sure I'll manage without one. I want nice clean aluminium to weld. Yes, darling. I'm coming now, darling. Bye, darling. Bye, bye. That's what last beckoning is. Right, I've had it full of water, it doesn't leak. The mountain bracket going on the back and two little mountain brackets on the front. I've got a lid to make for it of course. I've got it packed up so it sits on the, the mountains, not on the bottom of the tank. The 
I'm gonna have a pair of fucking gloves I have. I can't find the bastard one I want. That's the base of the oil tank done. Obviously I've got to make a top for it and I'll probably make a, an aluminium screw on filler plug to go in there. There's a tube to go in here which is the oil out and I'll be wanting to go in there somewhere which will be a return from the pressure relief valve. But basically that fits in there quite neatly. As I was as I was doing it, my welding was starting to get better. I haven't welded aluminium for quite some time. It's something you've got to keep practicing. But it's not too bad, I've had water in it, it doesn't leak. I'll be two secure and bolts go in there. And that's two secure and bolts will also go in there. So basically it's it's starting to take shape quite nicely. That's the filter I'm going to use. I've checked the thread, it's a 20 by 1.5 mil thread, so I can make a, a filter head for that, no problem at all. I might actually get a bigger filter which holds a little bit more oil. It'll also act as an oil cooler because these things heat oil up really quickly. But all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. That's where the oil outlet will go. Oil outlet in there, and oil return probably into there. That's a return from the bypass valve or the pressure relief valve. There's an oil drain underneath here, and the oil just flows straight over there into the tank that's going to be completely unrestricted uh, so the oil can flow straight out of it but it's coming on not too bad there was a spare hole there uh, I tapped the 8th 8th BSP and that would be for a pressure gauge for the P, what they call a P2 pressure or the boost pressure that's where the oil is going to go into into the turbocharger that's the original fitting I'll be able to either modify that or use that I'm not quite sure I've got a lot of this 6mm pipe, uh, hydraulic pipe and compression fittings, I'll probably use that for the pressure side of it.